Faith Church, what's up? I get to record a house to house today, but really it's the outdoors to your house. Uh, I'd like to share a couple thoughts I had as I'll be speaking this weekend on our passage from Revelation chapter 14. Uh, something that kind of encouraged me and I wanted to share with you, um, give us a little bit of a glimpse into the passage for this weekend. But also I kind of want to share something that, you know, I wrestle with and something I, that I found encouragement from. And um, I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes when I think about what it means to be faithful, when we're, when we're told, you know, from Revelation especially, Jeff has told us, uh, it's meant to encourage us to remain faithful, to endure. When I think about the book of Hebrews too, um, the, the word faith is almost synonymous with endurance, to keep going. Sometimes I, I, I feel kind of weighed down by that idea that it's almost like, you know, for family ministry and with the kids, our, our theme is 5K, run the race. And so you think about endurance, what it means to run a race, and sometimes it feels like heavy, like exhausting. Like just keep going, just keep remaining faithful. You know, like grin and bear it and just just keep on keeping on. And sometimes that, that can be a, a heavy thought like, I don't really know if I have enough to keep going. I feel exhausted, but I was encouraged from our passage this weekend, especially because it's such a victorious and, and even glorious picture we see with the 144,000 uh, standing with the lamb. But I was encouraged because as I started to look at what separates those who are faithful is that it's, it's not that they're perfect. It's not that they've somehow figured, figured something out and have a secret of, of what it means to remain and, and to stay faithful and to endure and to just be incredibly courageous and bold. Um, but rather it's being faithful is simply turning and, and relying on Christ's faithfulness. We're not perfect, but, but he is. How many of us know God is faithful even when we're not faithful? And I was encouraged by that thought just because it's not my faithfulness that enables me to be part of God's redeemed. It's not my faithfulness that puts me in a place where I'm somehow worthy now. It's, it's Christ's faithfulness. So this weekend we'll be looking at some of the things that distinguish those who are faithful, the redeemed of God, the 144,000. We'll be looking at different marks that sets them apart. Um, and really what it is, is each one of these marks is initiated. It's, it's a result of Christ's work. It's an, initiated by God first. And so I, I was pretty encouraged by that just because sometimes it can be a heavy idea to think, I just got to keep going. I just got to strive and, and make it work and not give up. And I don't think that's how God intends us to live is to just get by and to survive. I think we're meant to abide in Christ and, and to allow God, you know, to be yoked with Christ, to allow God to take the weight, to re rely on his faithfulness. So I was really encouraged by that, and uh, I'm excited for this weekend. Go ahead and tune in. We'll be looking at Revelation chapter 14, verses 1 through 5. Really excited. I get to share. So I hope today you're doing well, and this can encourage you. It's not about our work or our faithfulness. Yes, we, we should strive for, to be faithful and to, to remain in Christ, but what separates us and what marks us is God's faithfulness and really aligning ourselves with what he's already done. Amen. Hope you're well today. I'll see you this weekend.